All right. <clears throat> what we've got so far is a uh, collection of images uh, of the same cars uh, brought from the uh, California, the Caltech database of cars. Uh, we got our negatives. We got a list of basically of background images you can still see on the screen here. Okay, so we basically have a file called VEC, which contains the uh, uh, some sort of a collection, cohesive collection of normalized size, you know, normal sized uh, um, uh, features, in our case, the cars, and just a bunch of noise. And that's that's the thing we have in bg.txt. Now, the standard command to train to do a train cascade is, is just this command. And it's really simple to do all that. I'm just going to try to explain the component of this command. Let me just extend the window so I can show you the whole command in. You know, in one go. Um, just a second. So basically, if you look around here on the screen, you see that OpenCV train cascade is the command. Uh, data is one of the inputs. And what is data? Well, data is just the uh, the output for the you know for the training. So eventually, we want to get an XML file which describes the process by which to uh, uh, to make the decision on whether you know something is a feature or not. Uh, in my case, I trained it for a single car, at some stage it did, so that's just basically what you see here is just the file name for the output of the training process, VEC is the file we built before, and BG is the negatives, or the background images, so these are again, these are, just again, oops, these are just the list of, uh, we've got, we've got our list of negative images, positive images, we've got the output file, and if we actually run the command, as I might as well show you, it's not exactly working this video. Okay, um, it's then just a second. It fails in some level. Um, I think because I'm using the file that I already have. If I choose a file which I don't have yet, then you can see a process now taking place of training. This is uh, zero stage for the training. Uh, what it's basically doing is using the negative images, the positive images, uh, and it's building a classifier. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of exactly the algorithm that's being used here. I have several options and you can see the sites for documentation of all that. But this is basically enough for you to build an XML file which contains all this data which later on you're going to use to, uh, to basically make a decision on whether something is a uh, correct match or not a correct match.